How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I feel like in the art community in particular, there has not been a real trend going around for quite a while. I feel like 2019 art YouTube was just the time for trends. So I was thinking to myself the other day, like I need a new idea. I need something that I've not seen on YouTube before. I need to do something that's fun. And then I got cut off by a stupid car in front of me. And I was like, you piece of poo. Started pretty much making fun of how stupid his license plate number was. And I was like, your license plate is stupid. And then I realized he had the same license plate as 98% of everyone else around him. And then the idea hit me. There are 50 states, but you have a state like California and it's just a plain license plate, cursive California at the top in red writing. And you can pay extra to have like a nice design. That's actually what I've got on my car. Like the money goes towards an organization. So I thought how fun would it be to paint license plates to look like the states they're from? You've got California. California. You know, you can paint like the redwood trees and some mountains for Northern California and then you can do like a silhouette of Disneyland and then you can do like a beach and then you can do New Jersey and then do the turnpike and all the traffic and I'm just So I went to an antique store and I managed to find some license plates. Some of these are incredibly old. I got an Indiana and of course I'm gonna have to do something Stranger Things themed on this. I also got an Ohio. I got a Florida. This one's very faded though. Normally the Florida ones are more kind of fresh. Just to clarify, I'm sure there's a rule out there somewhere that tells you that you can't use a plate that you've painted like this. So don't copy my video and think you can actually decorate a license plate because I'm pretty sure that's not allowed. That's why I bought used ones and didn't paint my own. And it's just gonna be for decoration somewhere in my art studio. They're not gonna be used. They don't even belong to me. They're not registered to me. So don't, just don't go there. Leave a comment down below the state you'd like to see me try next and maybe tell me some information about the state you're from. I have visited like 28, 29 states now. So I have a good idea of the landscape of most of them, but I still, I would still love to know. I feel like I should start off with Florida just because I've seen a good portion of Florida in my life. I've been coming to Florida since I was two years old on vacation. So I think it might be quite fun to take this and refurbish it to look more like Florida. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to be using my paint brushes. These are my brand new paint brushes that are just released today. These are limited edition. They are brand and new and these are fantastic quality for any artist. As a lot of you know, I have been selling now my professional line of paintbrushes for over a year. Now these have been one of my highest selling products over the last year. These ones, like my other paintbrushes, are like butter. They're incredibly soft. They're incredibly thick. They are assembled in the USA and the wood of the handles is actually sourced from forests that have wood reforestation programs. So yes, if you would like to try them for yourself, check out my website, artisticbearco.com. So I decided that before I do anything, I would design the plate on my iPad first before I physically start painting it so I have a good idea of where I want everything. As you can see, I take this stuff really seriously. This is before I switched out my screen protector with that amazing paper-like one I showed the other day. It gets rid of this awful, obnoxious glare. So firstly, I thought it would be really fun to keep the background of the plate to be iconic for Florida. Florida has some of the most stunning sunsets that I have personally ever seen. They also have some of the most intense weather. I can't tell you how many times I've been at Disney in my life and all of a sudden I just get a huge downpour if I'm there during the summer months. One side of the sky can be clear and beautiful. You turn your head and it's almost black from the afternoon storms. Some days can be blue skies with no clouds. So I thought I would do a combination of storm and sunset. Right, nobody judge me, okay? This is supposed to be rough. Look at that blend that doesn't exist. Okay, I added lightning, but I ended up not doing that because lightning, while intense in Florida, is not exactly a defining feature of it in my personal opinion. I actually really like the classic Florida plate, I'll be honest, like the default plate, it's cute. It has oranges, the shape of the state. It's nice and simple. I don't really think it needs changing, but I think I could make it more Florida oranges. Yes, oranges are iconic in Florida. If you've ever been and driven around, maybe you've seen one of those giant oranges where they sell them. Actually, my grandparents bought one of the oranges on one of our holidays when I was small and the orange inside this giant orange that sells oranges. It, it wasn't even good, apparently. To be fair though, it was probably just fluke. My dad actually had an orange from an orange grove in Florida once and said it was the most amazing orange he'd ever eaten. And I think I've said the word orange more than enough for the rest of my life, so let's stop. 
and some palm tree style leaves. Palm trees are some of my favorite trees, so I had to include them. I actually used my new favorite discovery for this. It's called Mila Note. I'm actually really excited because they're sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love this tool to plan my artwork and stay organized. Mila Note is a fantastic tool for organizing your creative projects. I love Mila Note as an artist and business owner because it allows me to stay as organized as I can as a chronically unorganized person. Mila Note allows you to collect notes, images, videos, Videos, tasks and more. Me, I personally love to use this for an inspiration board for my art. I like to use it as a collection of my reference images as well as some key notes and ideas as you can see from this. Starting a new project is easy with over 100 built-in templates available for every type of creative project. Plus it's easy to share so you can invite your colleagues, clients or followers to gather important feedback and collaborate with them in real time. As you can see I have some colour palettes here. I can choose literally any colours that I want. I can add notes, to-do lists, I can sketch on it, draw on it, add my images. Myself and anyone that I invite to view my vision boards can also add comments, you can add files and so much more. I love Mila Note, it is so so helpful. These arrows also really help me to decide what's going where. Finally, Mila Note is available for free with no time limit. Sign up using the link in the description and start your next creative project. Thank you so much to Mila Note for sponsoring today's video and make sure you check them out in the link below. Okay, yes I did add the Disney castle. Whether you like Disney or not, you literally cannot deny that a huge part of tourism in Florida is thanks to Disney, so I am including it. I decided to add back in the shape of the state in the middle because I really like that idea. Here's a little shark. Fun fact, Florida actually has the most shark attacks in the entire USA. 28 whole shark attack bites in 2021. In Volusia County actually, which is where this plate is strangely from. Also fun fact, humans are far more dangerous to sharks than the other way around. I'd actually rather be in the water with a shark than a human being, and I'd certainly rather be in the water with a shark than an alligator in Florida. I'll tell you that right now. Alligators are just evil. Yeah, this was my masterpiece not but it gives me a general idea of what i actually next want. i'm not going to bother showing you the 30 minutes it took me to remove the label and wash this thing it was gross sticker didn't want to come off i think the florida sun just like baked it on i painted it with some gesso and here it is looking lovely okay so you can see how long it took me to actually get to completing this video because my nails grew yes these are my nails these are not fake before and after i have been filming this for a very long time. I wasn't too sure which paint to use for this, so I went with my Pebio paint I got from the UK and my golden paint as well. It's always one ruining the aesthetic, isn't it? Ooh, look at that colour. It's so beautiful and pink and orange. I call it porange. I added the darker cloud areas, but I decided I liked the porridge too much and just didn't want to mess with it. I also realized my Pebeo paint was so good that I couldn't even see the original Florida shape anymore, which I was going to trace over, so I wasn't able to do that. I basically had to freehand it. Nobody is going to look at it too closely to see it's geographically incorrect though, right? So as you can see throughout this video, I used my new paint brushes. That's how I got those really clean lines. They're so buttery soft and hold water and paint beautifully, just like my other line of paint brushes. I actually worked on developing these brushes over the last few months based on feedback from customers of my other brush line. The main difference between these and my other brushes is that these will be cheaper because the synthetic is cheaper than the professional standard synthetic I use in my other brushes. These are still very high quality. They're just a cheaper synthetic that I developed because some artists told me they don't need a professional professional fine art level brush set because they'd only just started painting or their budget allowed for something high quality but lower cost. These are my lowest price brushes to date. Ah, oh, look how the paint applies. I love these so much. I know I keep talking about them, but I am just obsessed with these brushes. They are a limited release right now. I don't really have plans to restock these permanently unless demand says otherwise. So if you do want them, I will link them below because they may not be available again.
Okay, I know this is looking like some sort of weird pizza, but bear with me. These aren't all oranges. This is actually something that from a distance may look like an orange, but it's actually something else. The moon. You might think this is a weird choice, but hear me out. The first mission to the moon took off from Port Canaveral on the space coast of Florida. Nobody really talks about how cool that is. Like, Florida was the first place in the world to send a man to the moon. By the way, if you see my phone keep popping up in these clips, I'm trying to film a short. Basically, ever since YouTube implemented shorts, growing on YouTube has been much more difficult with just normal content these days, unless you actually do shorts. So I need to get with the times, film more shorts, smooth. Ah, I love these brushes. I wanted to add some palm tree style fronds to this. I was heavily looking at my original iPad drawing, but also definitely changing things as I went along. I initially put a pale mint green on the letters and numbers. It's a beautiful colour, but I feel like it just looked too much like the white and made it look very boring. So later on, I went over it with a turquoise. So if you wonder why I spent 20 minutes painting the numbers and letters only to change the colour later on, I'm an indecisive perfectionist, okay? I took out my Poskas next to get some things that only a pen can get. I mean, you can get it with a paintbrush too, but I mean, it would take you a hundred times longer to do it. So I added the small details and outlines on things with the Poskas. I also added a tiny baby rocket, which is so cute. Look how small it is. And here I am turning those alphanumerical characters turquoise like my original plan, and I liked it so much more this way. It actually reminds me a lot of 90s Florida when all the hotels were turquoise and pink before they all went beige. By the way, the flowers I added are orange blossom from, you guessed it, orange trees. They love their oranges in Florida. I added the little tiny shark and the castle in a couple different spots to my original plan. And off camera, I added some designs to the Florida silhouette. And I am so happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing this. And if you would like to see me do this again with a different plate, feel free to let me know in the comments down below which one I should do next. It can be one I've already got or it can be another one that I can buy somewhere. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Melia Note for sponsoring today's video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.